Okay, so you got the news ready. You got some links and stuff for yep. us. Getting it queued up. All right, so I'm, I'm going to start recording now. Hello, ladies and danglers. Welcome to What to Fish, presented by Balls Deep Tackle. I am your host. These nuts. <laughs> got <he. laughs> Actually, I did like five seconds ago. Oh, sweet. Okay. So everybody cool. heard you fart. It was a loud one. All right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, actually, I'm going to delete that. We'll, we'll just start over. That is a terrible one. Okay. Let me get this ready. Okay. Are you going to do your infamous welcome to the... Welcome to the, what the Fish Podcast. What the Fish Podcast by Captain Hook and Darth Bader. But I think our, our intro already does that. Oh, okay, sweet. So I just said it twice. Oh, dang. <clears throat> Dangle dang. Dangle dang, man. <laughs> no boom hammer in the house. So, <laughs> so maybe we should actually do. Dangle dang these nut. Nits. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. I don't even know. Maybe we should do a real podcast this time. Let's, okay. So this podcast, let's actually do like a real one. All right. Let's do like a real As opposed to... Not real. Not real. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Duly noted. Duly noted. Taken. All right. Hmm. Well, what about we read some questions from our... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From our questions um, uh, that people one. sent in. Uh, it looks like... So we posted on Facebook on the page, the Balls Deep Tackle page. What are some questions you have that we can answer on the podcast? All right. So, <laughs> what? That's what you did. You're like, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what we're going to do is read off some questions. So, All right. you want to pick pick a question? All right. I have not seen these, so I'm just going to go pick a random one. I'm just going to do whatever is the fifth one listed. I'm going to do that one. Go for Let's it. See, one, two, three, four. Knock okay. her out. If. <laughs> If you find two fellows in a closet, would that be when they come out of the closet? I don't really get that. I don't either. <laughs> when you find two fellows in a closet, would that... Oh, so like they, they're they in the closet, but they're out of the closet now. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of funny. Marty says, does anyone still fish with cane poles? My mom used a 20-footer in 50s and 60s and caught more fish than most hardcore anglers at the time. Smiley face. <laughs> it was like, a, I guess, a, a cane or bamboo cane or whatever. Yeah. All right. Let's read some more. Have you considered hiring Kenny Powers as your spokesman? I think he would be a good fit, and I'm pretty sure he's available. <laughs> Who's Kenny Powers? I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it. I'm this Googling. Is, I'm sure like 80%. Oh, oh okay, my yeah. God. That's the guy. That's the guy. <laughs> that would be absolutely epic, actually. Yeah. Kenny um, Powers, Eastbound and Down show. He has some fantastic memes, by the way, from that show. Yeah, he does. I've seen a lot of those. My favorite one is the gun meme, yeah. where he's like holding two guns, and he's like <laughs> shaking it while he's shooting them. Totally American. That is that is like the With American. a mullet. Yeah, that's the American spokesperson. Yeah, to describe Kenny Powers is like to describe Free America. Actually, I've never seen the show, but I've just seen his memes. Yeah. And they're great. Oh, here's actually a good question. Did the name Balls Deep come to y'all right away, or were there some other names you considered? If so, I'd like to hear them. Um, no, I don't think so. We had, you know, we had the, we had the balls-shaped sinkers. So it's like Balls Deep, Tackle. It's ingenious. It's a uh, it's a stroke of genius. Honestly, most people don't see the sinkers anymore. They just see the apparel or the hats. But that was the original product was sinkers shaped like testicles. Yeah. And then that that's kind of like what gets people interested. And then they're like, oh, what else do they have? Oh wow, they have a fuck you shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want that one. Essentially. That's 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 the uh, that's how it works. That's our business model. So dangle balls around. And then people come in, they're like, oh, you have shirts too. And yeah, it's, it, it works. It it's works. like a lure. It's exactly what it is. We are gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm on the lake, what am I supposed to do with the empty beer cans? Oh. 
uh, throw them away? I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's hinting at do we support littering, <laughs> which we don't because I do not support drunk fish. Drunk fish. You know, drunk fish they become lazy and then they don't really swim around and then they don't really bite your hook. They, they just get really complacent. They, they just pass out and go to their little dens, and it's just not... They just lay around, and it makes fishing no fun. Empty beer cans, you could take them with you, shoot them when you're on a range, throw them away, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you shoot them. You could, uh, you know, stop at the bank real quick, line yeah. them up, go out to the middle of the lake, and pop pop off a few. Blow, up, blow them up with fireworks, some tannerite. Yeah. I don't know. Here's a question. Deanna says, other than you, what company has the biggest balls, and why? Other than you, what company has the biggest balls and why? I don't think uh, I don't think there is one out there. So next question. <laughs> yeah, we are number one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, so we'd have to we'd have to outdo ourselves essentially. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is for you. It says Darth Vader, do you hook your bait or bait your hook? Somebody asked Darth Vader a question. Oh, dang it. I got, almost got excited. I, yes, they did, but they didn't spell it. The, the, they spelled it with the D instead of an I. So what did they say again? Do you hook your bait or bait your hook? Do Comma. you hook your bait or bait your hook? Yeah. That's a trick question. I, I would say... I would say that is a trick question. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> wrap my head around that one. That's a good question. That's a good question. Did did the chicken come first or did the egg? Um, the chicken. I would say it depends on the bait, because some baits like you got worm, you know, worm bait. You have creature bait, and you gotta, you kind of have to hook them suckers, you know. So you gotta hook your bait. Good point. Bait your hook. Let's see. Since you are Darth Bader, you would. That's how you would do it? Yeah. That's my best impersonation I got. All right. So here's one more question we got. What is the best time to fish? Every second of every day. Every second of every day. That's the best time to fish, daggummit. All right. If you had one hour to fish, what time would you go? All hours. The day is one giant 24-hour. Correct! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. If I had had one hour... To fish, I think I'd fish like early in the morning. Actually, sometime. Like, Creeper. Uh, no, not the right no, one. No, no, no. Cancel. All if, right. We can. That, that's one thing we can cancel right there and be, be okay. Sickness. Don't cancel everything else, though. You yeah. know. I oh, know they can. What? Okay. What has been some stuff that's been canceled, so so to speak? Yeah. Speaking in the past of few that. Days? Well, I don't know if you've seen, but the Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes bans bans Elmer Fudd's shotgun and Yosemite Sam's revolvers, which is absolutely, it's just. Okay, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> that, no. It says, it says it's Darth Vader, so. Okay, cool. Your long lost cousin. All right, sweet. But and, to and, ban a cartoon weapon really yeah and they replaced <laughs> elmer fudd shotgun with a scythe like in the cartoon yeah in the cartoon so like he's chasing went... she's chasing bugs bunny around with a scythe instead of a shotgun which is way dumber lamer and it seems more like just just hedonistic demonic like almost like it is. it's, it's very... just like what am i watching a cartoon or like Ugh. saw three you know, <laughs> know. like what is this like, this like what is elmer fudd gonna go I, I want to play a game. Freaking Grim Reaper over here. Yeah, Grim Reaper. So no hunter, I don't think, runs around with a scythe hunting rabbits and animals. <laughs> if if there's any that do, please reach out to us and send us a picture. Send us a picture. Cause and or videos. But yeah, that is that's just ridiculous. They tried to cancel Goya beans. Goya beans. And but but back it up there, Yosemite Sam's revolvers. How are you gonna do? I basically freaking. What did they replace that with? I don't Dildos? even. I don't probably 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 tampons. Oh my gosh! Probably because you know that's, that's how they they are. So I don't know, but I thought that was kind of ridiculous. So, anyways, yeah, that's I've, one of the things been canceled. 
It's news to me. Which brought joy to my childhood, you know? Yeah, no longer. No longer. So they just edited all the cartoons? They just, like, straight cut them out? I, I, don't, I don't even know. I haven't looked into it that much. Jeez. I just heard about it. And, uh... So... So Will Smith reveals an extramarital <laughs> relationship with younger Gemini Man co-star. Get it? Because yeah. it's himself. We should, uh... <laughs> now, this is a story all about how my wife got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> yeah, in case you guys didn't know. I saw that meme, <clears throat> almost killed me. Actually, why don't you explain what happened with the whole uh, Will Smith? That's all I know. Oh, that's all you know? That's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. So then, uh, yeah, I guess, like, they were kind of, like, supposedly Will Smith gave his wife, like, permission to go do other dudes or something. What? I don't know. <laughs> or go have relationships. And yeah, they interviewed is. him. And he basically was like, nah. And then they interviewed his wife. And she was like, or asked her. And she was like, I wasn't in, not in a relationship, but an entanglement. Mm. A very political I, I statement I've seen there. that meme everywhere. Yeah, and so, anyways, that's about as far as I know, too. But anyways, that's, uh, that's I just thought that was funny. Freaking Hollywood creeps and cancel them. Cancel everybody in California. What other news? We got the Gislaine Maxwell update. Yeah, we do. Let's see here. Um, she is married to some dude and won't reveal her husband. How can you not reveal it? I feel like that's just a court record. Yeah, you would think. But isn't she, like, from a different country or something? She's, like, originally... Uh, yeah, her dad was from the UK and had, like, a media, like, it, And then she tried to post bail, or... And that got denied? Yeah, they denied the bail. And then... So, I guess maybe she's secretly married in the UK. Maybe that's how they so did it. So, prosecutors say... So, the prosecutor figured it out somehow. But anyways, that and then is. The, I said they declined the she, bail because you know, of course, she'd be an extreme flight risk. Because apparently, she used a fake identity to buy her mansion in New Hampshire, where she was hiding out. Where she was hiding allegedly. Out. So like that would make it very clear allegedly. that allegedly, allegedly, yeah. What's the X Files theme song? Do 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 do. Anyways, do I have that one? Illuminati confirmed. Yes, I don't think I have that little soundbite. Um, oh. X file. Okay. <laughs> X files. All right, and All go. Right. Oh, 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 how do I oh, stop this? Ah, I'm getting shot. They found out. We know about. We know about the Epstein's. Yeah. Somebody came into the studio and shot us. Here comes. <laughs> Here comes a FedEx driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> exactly. That's what I was thinking of. Oh man! Oh, yeah. In case you guys didn't know, I'm not. I don't even know that story. Uh, it's, yeah, we'll move I, on. Apparently, there's a federal. If you don't judge know the joke, yeah. On, uh, <laughs> case related to Epstein, and then there's a FedEx driver that came and uh, you know, I guess tried to assassinate him. Yeah, assassinated the the son, like <clears throat> shot him in the head. Some pretty dark, grim yeah. conspiracy stuff. That's not really a conspiracy because it happened. Well, you know the definition. It's like of something out of a hitman movie. That's something out of a lot of movies. Yeah. You know, the definition of a conspiracy is two or more people making a plan. So it's like, not yeah. really that It's not crazy. that. Yeah, it's really not that crazy. Um, All right, so oh, a Florida oh. man in fishing news. Yeah, and, oh, we're 13 minutes in and now we get to fishing. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> By the way this, what the fish? <laughs> what the fi- is, oh, is this a fishing podcast? Or this is pretty a- much sums up our podcast name right here. Yeah, so. it's like, hey, uh, okay. All right, so a Florida man catches a huge tarpon. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Surprise. Welcome to our podcast. A Florida man catches a huge... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, if we can I don't know what get is. to the fishing news. I just see the name. I don't know what they'd say until I push him. All right. Well, this guy apparently was <laughs> floating in in the Gulf. I don't know. I think it was the Gulf. I'm not sure if it was the Gulf or not. But Florida man catches a huge tarpon while fishing from Rainbow Unicorn Floaty. Oh, man. And by the looks of this picture, that looks like a huge tarpon. I don't know how much. Let's see if I can scroll down. This was earlier this month, but let's see. It is pretty glorious. It, uh, this guy has got a few photos. Oh, wow. This is awesome. 
but and he was out in the like in the <laughs> yeah in the ocean there. i wonder yeah i wonder who was with him and what if they're in a boat or or what but that's actually kind of kind of risky you know oh yeah that's... floating off to sea in a, fl- a unicorn and never be seen again <laughs> and then five years later you float back on your unicorn and you're like i'm here let's see here it says uh like, his, his quote is the stealthy natural drift of the unicorn float with the Stella combo was deadly this afternoon. <laughs> Heck yeah. And then this fish is like Jack, dragging him around on the water. Jack, Vas- I don't even know how to say, you say his last name. His name's Jack Vassilaros, something like that. But uh, it appears to be quite a big, I don't know how big of a fish that looks, but it looks like a like a 40 pounder if I had to guess, but I don't I don't know. This is epic. That's the a world may fish. never know, but he caught it from an epic unicorn. I mean, it looks like it's like a, what four or five feet long. You have to be pretty uh, confident in yourself to ride on a floaty like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the colors of the rainbow. He's like he's Just, probably at least half a mile away from shore. Yeah, it looks really far. I mean, I guess if somebody's taking these pictures, there's probably a boat nearby. So, in other news, earlier this month, the beginning of the month. Jay Cutler finally found his chicken's attacker. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so Jay Cutler, the former, I don't even know where he's playing now. Um, he he's not such he's a retired. mediocre yeah, <laughs> quarterback. He, he made a you know he made like 140 million and now he's just kind of chilling. Yeah, he was like what the one of the highest paid or yeah. The, and then his his wife divorced him because she thought he was lazy. <laughs> he's like, oh no, I'm just playing football every day for my entire life. Like, be nice to chill with some chickens. So and our kids. Apparently he's got chickens, and something attacked him. Illuminati confirmed. Yeah, that's got to be good old Bigfoot there. Who got his chickens? So the update was apparently it was a raccoon that attacked his chickens. Oh, what? I think. A raccoon. A raccoon. I don't know. So anyways, that's what happened. <laughs> oh. Bia oh. his, I think, Thank an Instagram you. or somebody's Instagram. I'm not just going to ignore the, ra- if, the raccoon. His Instagram handle is if Jay had an Instagram. I think it's pronounced Ruckacoon. A Ruck- Ruck- Ruck-a-coon. Ruck-a-coon. <laughs> I don't even know. I, don't, I just call them ratcoons, like a rat, and then, you know, raccoon. That's racist. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a hick from, you know, I'm just a hick. Yeah, you know what I call him? I don't know how to stop it. (laughs) I just, can that be my theme? Like when I'm like about to do the podcast? Yeah. Okay. So like here's start, here's, we should do that as a theme. That's a good idea. New intro. New intro. I'm just a hick from Moorhead, North Carolina. What the fish podcast presented by Darth Bader. And his name is John (laughs) Cena. And Captain Hook. <laughs> <laughs> that could just be the the overall What the Fish podcast theme. Yes. Like, every- what the fish did, do do You know? Oh, that's a good idea. So, we're in, anyways, we're live. I forgot to tell you, we're live from Moorhead, North Carolina. We are. Yeah, Moorhead, Moorhead. North Carolina. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> What was that? I don't, I don't know. It just said WTF boom. And then the boom is about right. I feel like I got nuked. I know. <laughs> Dear God. Oops. Dear All right. Jesus. All right, so. I got, a, got a new section. Oh, actually, it's not really new. It's called Would You Rather? And got a couple questions. So I'll, you you answer the first one first. I'll answer the second <laughs> one first. So. Wait. Have you, already, you haven't read them yet, have you? No. Don't read them. All right, don't read them. Okay. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. First, e. would you rather have finger size? <laughs> I, I'm already laughing. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather have finger-sized nipples or nipple-sized fingers? Nipple-sized fingers. Or finger-sized nipples. Or finger... <laughs> My brain can't even function around that question. <laughs> finger-sized nipples... Or nipple-sized finger. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> I think I would rather have finger sized nipples because then I could get those amputated off. <laughs> 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 and I don't care if I can't feel my nipples anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play the devil's advocate <laughs> and go with nipple <laughs> size. <laughs> How could you even p- you couldn't pick up anything? Well, it's my strong hand. It's my strong hand. Yes, it's my strong hand. Like how would you <laughs> how would you roll down your window with that? Oh, you just doink. I mean, you'd have to move into a cold climate. <laughs> 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 so your fingers could grow <laughs> where it's always cold and uh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I, I don't know where to go with that no, no, i don't either you made the right choice would you all right <laughs> <laughs> would you rather wear a adult diaper depends every day of your life for the rest of your life <laughs> or would you rather wear a mask like every, every day a mask? Every day a mask or every day a diaper? Probably the diaper. <laughs> <laughs> you can hide the diaper. <laughs> you can hide the diaper. You can even poop in it. <laughs> There's benefits. <laughs> when, when it's a mask, you're just telling everybody that you're an idiot. <laughs> like, you can't for, crap in your mask. You can. Or you can. I, I mean, guess. they are face diapers in a way. You get to you know, <laughs> that's exactly. quiet down the liberal bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, at least it's a depend. You know, you got like, <laughs> you got options. You got a res- <laughs> you got an extra pocket. <laughs> you can put stuff, I guess. Yeah, yeah. and it's kind of yeah. Okay, it's probably got some cushion to it it's for when you sit down. It probably makes it really comfortable to sit. <laughs> yeah, it's probably yeah, probably a wise choice. I, I might just do that anyways. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I might just do that anyways. Which that that leads us into the product of the day. Which is, uh, we just released this actually. <laughs> Dude, it's been a, a huge fresh, seller. This has been an amazing seller. It's a fresh release. So it's, it's, it's a shirt. Uh, it has like the, it's kind of like the Black Lives Matter um, style, but it just says, fuck your mask. It was released into the wild amongst um, our danglers. Four or five days ago. And now. our danglers attacked it with vicious ferocity. Oh, yeah. It's been. And we've even blown ripped this Ripped them off the shelves. It's, yeah, it's been flying. We've sold. Shoot, probably like 500 of them. People are passionate about not having to wear a mask. People are very adamant that People they don't. People don't want the government to tell them what to do. Um, I Who would have thought? Yeah. So strange. And it's funny because I just kind of made that out of frustration. And when we made the show, I was like, this is... this is because They just did a mask mandate and everywhere you go now, you have to wear a stupid mask. And I, I hate it personally. And it really pisses me off. And so now... I made that little shirt, and people have been loot. Yeah, we sold exactly 500 of them in just like four days. It's it's epic. It's it's quickly become the number one seller. It's and then the the number one, number two is D's nuts matter. <laughs> <laughs> that about explains the, the 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 demographic there. The two easiest, most dumbed down designs are the most popular. Yep, that's awesome. It is uh, essential. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's, oh yeah all right so quick joke <laughs> do you have one quick joke chick-fil-a changes its name to gender neutral they filet oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> but, womp, womp. yep no i'm just playing they didn't actually do that just a lame joke no surprise like and they they've actually taken up the butt from cancel culture have they well yeah they've been they've been uh I guess apologizing. They haven't been like outspoken about it. They've been yeah. They've I know they like were pre- pretty firm for a while, but I haven't I haven't updated. I haven't read. Yeah. I haven't read up I on that. Do- I think either they donated the Black Lives Matter or there was something. I, I don't know what they did. I should probably look it up since it's a podcast. That- look it up. Another joke, and I'm reading this from the Babylon Bee, by the way. So this isn't like real, super original. <laughs> yeah. uh, it says. No, I don't even want to read this one. This one's, this one's just pretty funny, but I'm not going to read this one. Oh, this is kind of... So, Chick-fil-A is offering a free chicken sandwich in exchange for coins. So, for every $10 in rolled coins, and this is in Alabama, I guess, you will receive a free chicken sandwich. Now, isn't that just paying for a chicken sandwich? Oh, okay, I guess they give you a $10 bill. 
Yeah. And uh, wow, they need coins that bad, huh? So coins, yep. The they Wendy, want all the coins. Yeah, the Wendy's down the street is short on coins, so it must be a conspiracy. It's a, it is. They want us on. They want us chipped, vaccinated, wearing masks, tracked. Like a bunch of chickens, like a bunch of farm chickens, just tagged like cows. I read someone that they want to tie. They every, want to ranch us. They want ride, to <laughs> ride us like they want to ride on us like we're a bunch of horses, like running around like so, like chickens. So. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I was going with that. The Darth Darth Vader rants. So I heard that they're trying to. So what Chick Fil A really wants to do, from what I've heard. Is they want every Save. every chicken's consciousness to be tied to a human with a <laughs> microchip, so so you can eat more chickens. Yes, and, and save the cows. Yes, and they're gonna you know probably. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I I thought I could make it up. Chick Fil A wants to take over the world. I thought I could make it up as I go, but you know they're trying to get change, and they've got chickens. They're trying to tie the chicken consciousness into peoples. That means that they're going to use the change as a currency for the chicken world. So when the new world order so comes around... So when the humans aren't around anymore, because we all have died for whatever reason, the chickens are going to rule the earth with coins. Yeah. That's And they use it as their currency. That is very scary. I can't believe we just solved that mystery. Yeah, you know, it's time to move to... What country hates chickens? <laughs> <laughs> that leaves a whole continent out. Um, uh, let's let's Google it. <laughs> what <laughs> country? <laughs> North America is not an option. What we country? we absolutely love chickens here. Probably China. They love well, dogs. They love cats. They love cats and dogs. The only country without live chickens is Vatican City. Oh fuck that! Yeah, the only continent without them. Oh wait, the only country yeah without live chickens. The only con- continent without them is Antarctica. Uh, that's up for debate. That makes, does anybody live on Antarctica? Well, I will be soon because of my finger situation. <laughs> you uh, will actually be able to use your hands there. <laughs> yeah. Chickens. Hate, I googled this and there's like videos about I hate chickens. Ten things I hate about chickens. Chickens hate you. What? <laughs> People are actually making videos about chicken hate. What? Are chickens God, being canceled? Chicken lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> You, don't you mean cock lives matter? Cock lives matter. Dad gummit. That is, if you wore our, that shirt, people would be our, very confused. Our mascot was a rooster. It is. Richard the rooster. You know, our mascot's up for debate currently because we have a squirrel and a rooster. They're competing. They're slugging it out. Richard Richard Rooster is the OG. He's the OG, AKA. but the squirrel has got his nuts. Yeah, he does. He's He's got big O ones. Yep. Our squirrel, our squirrel is, is he, well, I haven't named him yet. I don't know what to name him. Deezy. Young Deezy. Young Deezy. Young D's nuts. Young Deezy's. I gotta make a, hang on, I gotta make a note about this Cock Lives Matter shirt because we're making that. And make, then I have a picture it. of the shirt of the roots rooster on there. Okay. So that shirt's gonna get made. <laughs> that is amazing. Hopefully we get some hate. <clears throat> All right, so... It is the most unprofessional thing to clear your throat in the middle of a podcast. Huh? I said, it's got to be the most unprofessional thing to clear your throat on a podcast. <laughs> and I uh, don't even realize I do it. You sound like uh, you're dying. Well, I mean, that's that was, a lot, that was a lot to digest for one podcast here. That was quite a bit. That was a lot of bit. Oh, we, we have one more question that we need to ask. The, um... The would you rather... Would you rather? You, we got one more question. One more. Okay. All right. Would you rather fight one hundred duck-sized horses, or one horse-sized duck? Oh man. Do ducks bite? Don't they bite? They just, as far as I know, I could, they just quack at you. I could kick the shit out of some horses. I would take the hundred duck-sized horses. Hundred ducks. Because you know they uh, they don't have claws, so you just have to kick them in the right way over and over. So like they're like little tiny horses yeah the horses are the size of a duck a hundred of them so i mean they're probably pretty quick they're probably super quick they can't climb they can't claw no they They can can, they can kick you with their hind legs 
Oh, yeah, that would be kind of annoying right in the shit. It's like, ah, gah, oh, gah, gah. But then, like, a horse sized duck. Well, that would be, like, apocalypse looking. <laughs> like a giant duck. That would be the size of that floaty that dude caught the fish off of. Exactly. That would be a scary duck. That'd be a two thousand, what, two, With three thousand pound laser duck. beam eyes. And rocket. I picture that. Laser beam shit. Yeah, so 100 duck-sized horses with, let's say, they have sharp teeth. Or... Well, they have horse teeth. But then, but this is theoretical. Oh, okay. I'm adding to the, would you rather. Are they wearing so, saddles? <laughs> they are... Nope, they just have sharp, sharp teeth. And... Or the one horse-sized duck has laser beam eyes. Oh, so these are vampire ducks. Definitely, yeah. definitely not laser beam eyes. Whatever that is, laser beam eyes. Yeah, that just that kills that kills it all. <laughs> what? <laughs> the whatever has laser beam eyes, not that. It's pretty epic. Well, I guess unless it's like a regular laser. Would just... you rather drive a Ford diesel or a Chevy diesel? Um, probably the Ford diesel. Ford diesel and why? Why? Like if everything's equal, year, make, model, miles, all that stuff. It's all equal. The body style just looks better. Yeah, yeah. Which truck? Which truck is uh, is better motor? Uh, it depends. You know, same thing, almost similar models. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, different years and different. <laughs> 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 I don't know. All right. I would say whichever is a better deal, probably. All right. Well, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap for what the fish. I know. We. Uh, I. I don't know. So I guess ride on more unicorn floaties yeah, to stop, catch more fish. Stop buying those stupid expensive boats. Just get you a giant yeah. unicorn floaty. Costs like five cents at Walmart. No, I think they're actually like 150 bucks. Walmart shutting down on Thanksgiving, I guess. Really? Yeah. That's not a bad thing. I mean, I guess those people need get to go home. Yeah, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>